Welcome to this video on the rejected takeoff procedure on the Airbus A320, presented to you by the Autopilots. This lesson covers a theory part, followed by a practical demonstration. To skip to the practical demonstration, head to this timestamp. We hope you enjoy this video. Welcome to this theory part on the rejected takeoff procedure. In this lesson we are going to be looking at what is an RTO, how does it happen, actions and calls, the emergency evacuation, decision-making, and further considerations. So what is an RTO? A rejected takeoff, or an RTO, is when the crew decide to bring the aircraft to a complete stop whilst they are on the takeoff roll. The RTO must happen before V1. This is the decision speed, and any incident that happens after V1 must be solved in the air. If the crew were to abort the takeoff after V1, they would risk overshooting the runway. There are factors that can lead to a rejected takeoff. Here are just a few of them. Engine failure or damage. An e-cam alert. Or if ATC instruct you to stop. Ultimately, the crew reject the takeoff if they feel the aircraft will not fly safely. Should you stop or should you go? We have such a limited amount of time to make a decision, and there are so many potential factors that could lead to an RTO. The ECAM inhibits warnings that are not essential from 80 knots to 1,500 feet. So any ECAM alerts we do receive during this period are significant and can't be ignored. The decision-making can be further simplified into two parts, and we will explore these in the next few slides. Below 100 knots, the crew can reject for anything. Speed is not high enough to have any further consequences on the aircraft, which we will discuss later. Therefore, the crew should be stop-minded and seriously consider rejected the takeoff if any ECAM cautions or warnings are triggered. Between 100 knots and V1, the crew should be go-minded, as stopping the aircraft can pose as a greater threat, and the stopping distance will certainly be greater. That being said, the crew can still reject if they feel that there is a significant threat to the safety of the flight. We will now look at the reasons to reject a takeoff above 100 knots and below V1. Typical reasons for stopping between 100 knots and V1 include, but are not limited to, fire warning or severe damage, sudden loss of thrust, any red ECAM warnings, the crew feel that the aircraft will not fly safely. There are also some ECAM cautions that can still appear on the takeoff roll. Should they appear, an RTO should be performed. These are flight control side stick fault, engine failure, engine one or two thrust lever fault, engine reverser fault. Engine reverse unlocked. The rejected takeoff procedure is a memory item. A lot goes on in a short period of time, so it is essential the crew nail these actions. Before we demonstrate this in the practical part, let's have a look at these memory items. For a lot of airlines, it is the captain who rejects the takeoff, however, in some other airlines, the first officer can reject the takeoff if they are pilot flying. In this case, we assume captain to be pilot flying. The captain will announce, stop, set max reverse, and keep the aircraft on the centerline. The PM will monitor the captain's actions and announce, spoilers, reverse green, D cell, then cancel any warnings. Anything they don't see, they should also announce. PM will then inform ATC, call sign, stopping. At 70 knots, PM calls this and if there is enough runway remaining, PF will select idle reverse. PF will then bring the aircraft to a stop, stow the reverses, set the parking brake, and make the PA, attention, crew at stations. PM will locate the emergency evacuation checklist and keep it on standby, this can save crucial time later on. And then when ready, start on the ECAM. If at any point the safety of everyone on board the aircraft is under serious threat, strongly consider evacuating. Examples might include an engine fire, which, when the extinguishers are fired, is not going out, ATC reports of smoke coming from the plane, reports of smoke in the cabin, or there is smoke in the cockpit. If you don't need to evacuate, the captain will make the PA, cabin crew normal operations. This is so important as they will be ready to evacuate until that PA is made. If an evacuation is required, the crew shall action the emergency evacuation checklist. Despite this being a read and do checklist, you'd be surprised how easy it is for crew to make mistakes or not understand this checklist. 
We are now going to have a deeper look at this. Aircraft, parking brake, stop on. The park brake should already be on, so call is stopped on. ATC, VHF1. Notify. The stopping call to ATC has already been made, so response is notified. Cabin crew, PA. Alert. The attention crew at stations, PA has already been made, so response is alerted. Differential pressure, or delta P, only if man cabin pressure has been used. Check zero. This is not applicable in this scenario. All engine masters. Off. PM switches off engine masters. No need to confirm with PF. All fire push buttons. Push. PM pushes fire push buttons. No need to confirm with PF. This stops fuel flow to engines and APU. All agents, ENGs and APU. As required. As required, if an engine is not on fire, you don't need to press the extinguisher. This can cause further and unnecessary long-term damage to the engine or APU. If evacuation required, evacuation, initiate. At this point, pause and have one last assessment of the situation. If evacuation required, announce, evacuate, unfasten your seatbelts, and get out. Press the EVAC push button on the overhead panel, silence the alarm in the cockpit. If evacuation not required, cabin crew and passengers, PA. Notify. Make the PA, cabin crew normal operations. Once the evacuation has been initiated, take high vis jackets if possible. Take the loading form, this is for verifying passenger numbers. Take as much emergency equipment as possible. The first officer leaves the aircraft via any available exit and directs passengers away from the aircraft. The captain is the last person to leave the aircraft, checking all passengers have evacuated safely. Escape ropes from the cockpit can be used if required. If an evacuation is not required, the, the captain will make the PA, cabin crew, normal operations. Either, the pilots will decide to taxi back to stand, or attempt another takeoff. Should you attempt another takeoff, bear in mind the following. There is a QRH procedure. Release the brakes prior to disarming the spoilers. The brakes will be hot and need time to cool. The performance data will be lost, and the crew will need time to reorganize. When bringing the aircraft to a stop, the captain should position the aircraft into wind. Communication with the cabin crew is so important. As soon as you made the attention crew at stations call, they are going to be expecting an evacuation. So if no evacuation is required, let them know ASAP. The brakes will be hot following an RTO. Bear this in mind. The evac push button is on the left side of the overhead panel and looks like this. The noise in the cockpit can be silenced. Okay, now let's look at a practical demonstration. We will be using the flows that we discussed earlier in the theory. Let's dive in. Take off. Man flex 68, SRS, runway. Checked, thrust set. One hundred knots. Checked. Stop. Spoilers. Reverse green. D cell. Seventy knots. Airbus one two three. Stopping. Parking brake set. Attention, crew at stations. Okay. Confirm the failure. Engine 1 fire. Obvious sign of fire. On the overhead panel engine 1 confirms this. That's confirmed. My radio's ECAM action. ATC. Notified. They're notified. Cabin crew. Alert. Alerted. Engine master 1. Off. Engine fire push button. Push. Agent 1. Discharge. It's discharged. Agent 2, discharge. It's discharged. Fire still remains. Okay, 
In that case, we need to evacuate. Do you agree? I agree. Emergency evacuation checklist. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Airbus 123 evacuating on runway. Aircraft, parking brake. Stop, on. Stopped, on. ATC, notify. They're notified. Cabin crew, alert. Alerted. Differential pressure not applicable. All engine masters, off. All fire push buttons, push. All agents, as required. If evacuation required, evacuation, initiate. Evacuate, unfasten your seat belts, and get out.